In this video, I will show you how we can pause time in Blender rigid body simulations and how to resume them. As always, it is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so first you need to bake the whole rigid body simulation that you have. This is from a tutorial. And then we're going to render the whole thing. So I'm going to go to the output settings and then create a folder for uh, this animation. And then we're going to create another folder later for when time stops. Okay, and then render the whole animation. So render, and then render animation. And then once the rendering is done, we can then do a new bake until the frame where we want the animation to stop in time. So I'm going to set it to uh, 70 and then bake. And then once the bake is done, everything is going to stop after frame 70, as you can see. If you have objects that are keyframed, you need to select the objects, go to the frame where the time stops, and then right click and clear keyframes. So that we have the uh, same position as we had in frame 70. And the same for the camera. And then next, I'm going to animate the camera around the uh, cubes. So we need to move the 3D cursor to the middle of the cubes so that the camera can spin around the cubes. And then we're going to press Shift A and add an empty cube. And then press G, then set on the set axis so that we can see it. And then I'm going to select the camera, hold in Shift and select the empty. Press Ctrl P and set parent to object, keep transform. And then next, I'm going to keyframe the rotation of the empty. So press I to keyframe. And then we can end it at frame 250, for example. And then set the rotation to 360 degrees so that it ends up at the same position. And then next, we need to create a new folder for this uh, second render. So I'm just going to call it still, and then give the frames a name as well, and then render animation. And then once the render is done, we can go in to the video editing workspace, and then add the images. And we're going to start off by adding the first 70 frames. So hold in shift and select until frame 70. And then from uh, frame 71, we're going to add the uh, still animation. Like this. And then at the end of the animation, we can add the rest of the frames. So from frame 70 to frame 400. Okay. And then we have the whole animation. And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more Blender simulation tutorials very soon. So thank you for watching and subscribe.